conversation with Two Chains. But uh, currently, who are you? Who are you listening to? Who who, who makes you move your head? Listen to something for everybody. Yeah. Everybody, you know, music is stocks to me. Yeah. Like the stocks. I'm always listening to Drake, you know, Lil Wayne, or Future, you know, Two Chain, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. I can listen to a little bit of Trey. You know, I still listen to Jay. Right. I listen to some of everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, all of those things come into me, and then I'm inspired, and then I mix it all up. And then I put me along with it. Right. And, you know, that's how the magic happens. What do you think about the the, the white chocolate success mm -hmm. success like in Robin Thicke and, and, and Justin Timberlake and now Robin Thicke is fighting this whole Marvin Gaye thing uh, with uh, the Gaye's family uh, Marvin Gaye's family saying that there's a sample in there that you haven't gotten clearance for and now he's countersuing. What is your what is your thought on on, on those guys' success and, and tapping into this? So, well, you know, I, you know, no disrespect to anyone, but. Talented guy, you know Robin Thicke and all those guys. You know, you know, it's one. Some people are talented, and some people have a gift. So it's like a big difference, you know, okay. in, in the two. So, you know, and you know, if you have a talent, you have to work hard. You have mm -hmm. to work hard and work hard to develop the gift. You know. Okay. You know, so once you develop the gift, you can tap into the secrets of that. You know, okay. And be able to give people what they've never heard before. Mm -hmm. And I think those guys are guys that's working on, you know, trying to do that. So they have. The talent. Oh, absolutely. Still working on the greatness of the gift. Oh, absolutely. They haven't gotten there yet. No. <laughs> but you know, but but you're listening to the voice of wisdom. I'm I see. Real. So it's yeah. like you know, and I'm just not judging them and saying they ain't gonna get there, but it's just that they're working on that. Mm -hmm. Is anybody in your eyes great outside? I mean, that's currently on the radio. Yeah, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. I know. I love Chris. I Drake, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lil Wayne, there's a lot of them that's great. There's right. a lot of them that's the tap, they have tapped into, into it. the mm -hmm. gift. They have that it, you know, that thing you can't explain. So, you know, but, but only few have that. Mm -hmm. well, what type of advice would you have for, for Chris Brown, being that he's going through all these troubles, legal problems? Mm -hmm. As a man being in the game for so long, do you have any type of advice for Chris? Yeah, elephants don't swat flies. Mm -hmm. That's one. You know, stay in the studio, continue doing what you do, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the music can take care of the rest because, like I say, he's got it. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's a superstar, mm -hmm. you know, and he has that it thing, you know, and as long as he stay focused on that, you know, everything else, you know, it'll come and it'll go. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. Now, hey, 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 you, you are amazing, performing, love you, right. but do you ever get nervous before you go on stage? Every time. Really? Like what I'm happened? for that screen. Really? That screen, I'd be like, okay, let me see. Yeah, I got this little monster thing on the inside of me. <laughs> yeah. The screen got to be like at least right here. Uh -huh. If it's right here, which it hasn't been there yet, so uh -huh. <laughs> thank God. But, you know, that screen got to be there. And I'd be right before they announce me or they know I'm coming out, you know, I'd be nervous to hear that screen. But every time when I hear it, you know, all of that goes away. It goes away. It's become R. Kelly. Right. Know? It's like going to that, that phone booth, changing mm -hmm. into Superman. You know right, what I'm right. saying? How do you look, how do you continue to, to look? I mean, like I said it when you came to see you, you look absolutely wonderful. You're right. obviously you're an attractive guy, but I mean, as we continue to, I think black folks, you know, when we treat ourselves right, it just yeah. doesn't crack. But what is your regimen for your skin? Do you work out, drink lots of water? How do you stay looking so young? You know, well, basketball is my first love. Thank mm -hmm. you for that, mm -hmm. you know, first of all. But basketball is my first love, and I play every day. Okay. Uh, you know, I think that's what does it, and you know, I, I box a little bit, you know. I don't really go to the gym and be hitting it hard trying to get muscles and all that stuff. I just love basketball. So right. I'm always playing basketball. You know, I'm always finding some kind of way to sweat. Mm -hmm. Who's your team? Who's your Who's your team, your basketball team? Who you like? Oh, who's your player, you know, too? You know, uh, I'm, I'm a Kobe and Michael Jordan guy. Okay. You know, I'm a Kobe and Michael Jordan guy. LeBron and all those guys, those, those are some great players. You know, but you know, still tapping into that, you know, that gift. That gift. So you you say Kobe is better than LeBron? Well, Kobe has the it. Okay. You know, and LeBron has it too, but he's still tapping into it because he's young and he's still finding his way. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Are you a football? Do you, you watch a lot of football? No, I don't watch a lot of football. Really? You know, unless it gets to the down to the <laughs> crunch time, the yeah. Super Bowl. Are and you I, a Bears fan? Well, yeah, I'm a Bear, Bears fan. Just we, because we, of the city. Exactly. Okay. I don't represent my city, you know, but right. football. I do want to get uh, a little serious with you with all of the uh, things that are going on in Chicago with a lot of the youth um, violence, yeah. violence period. 
Um, is there something that you've done in the city to try to help with this? Or what, what is the, the, why is it happening, do you think, so much? Well, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, you know they start to call Chicago Chirac, you know, right. now. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we're trying to get that name made more far from us. But, you know, you really can't do nothing but pray about it and just, you know, and when you do get a chance and when we do get a chance, we go on radio or whatever. And, right. You know, and I remember going to a uh, seminar at a, uh, a, high, a high school and, and talking to kids and things like that. I don't do it every day. I don't do it every week. But mm -hmm. when I see fit and have the time to do it, we will chime in on that. Okay. You know, but, it's crazy. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. Yes. On a on a happier note, look, mm -hmm. you know, what's what's one of the worst things that you ever had to do before you before you ever made it big? Worst job, any hustle that you had to do before you just started making money? Oh man, uh, I, was, <laughs> I was a runner at the, at the studio. You a what? A runner. A runner. Wow. Call it runner. You know, a runner. You going know. to get chips and uh, coffee. But yeah, I was going to get the chips and coffee. But at the same time, you know. I'm the type of guy back in the days. I, I, I just, my mother taught me, you know, you gotta pay dues. You mm -hmm. know, the depth of your struggle determines the height of your success. If you pay the dues, you know, you, and when you make it, you know how to appreciate and you can stay on the top yes. because you know how to take care of the gift because you, you know, you struggle because of your struggle. So I used to run, get the chips, and did, did everything else, anything I had to do. But then I ended up owning the studio I was running. You know, I, I, I actually came out Kelly and bought the place. You nice. know what I'm saying? So. Nice. Good. What's been your greatest? You've been able to accomplish so much throughout your career, through all your different um, accomplishments and, and trials at the same time. But what would you say is your greatest accomplishment? Um, my greatest accomplishment, I would have to say, overcoming adversity. You know, taking tragedy and turning it into triumph. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and being able to just overcome. Mm -hmm. And it, that exceeds the music. That exceeds all of the. You know the. Fans and the hoopla and the extra stuff that stuff comes with, you know, being able to just survive out here because it's hard, you know. It's one thing to, to, to get to the top, right. but it's a whole nother to stay on for 20 some years. Right. Hmm. Okay, now, have you ever been out to an event or a restaurant and you try to holler at somebody or holler at a female and she turned you down and you're like, I am R. Kelly, what is wrong with her? Have that ever happened to you before? <sighs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me about it? Go ahead. You know, I didn't want it to, but my ego got in the way. Right, right, right. 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 Oh, she's going to play me like that? Oh, she's going to walk by me like that? Oh, okay, so that's what it is. Right. Okay. right. You know, then I just want to just, you know, but I don't do that. But, you know, I have Paula, you know, had a couple of honeys, and, 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 you know, but I know they front. Now I'm going to watch where you're going. Right. Now you ain't even really going nowhere. Right. What, you, what, you, what you doing over there? Yeah. Then they end up going back the other way. Right. Be fine. <laughs> so <laughs> any celebrity female ever turned you down like that? Uh, I don't really go like for a lot of celebrity females. Uh -huh. you know, I don't, you know, I don't do that. Yeah. Somebody said the same exact thing. Who was that? Was that? I don't know. Two chains. Two chains. Yeah, he said, I'm talking to you like your regular, everyday young yeah, lady. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it, man. Absolutely. Gotta love it. So, some of the highlights on uh, Black Panties. Tell us about it. I know we got to play some songs. What are your favorites that we are going to play? Oh, uh, I don't know what you guys got over there. What we going to have? Got everything. Whatever, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you, play, you play, tell you us to play. My story. My, my story. story. Okay, we'll play my story. Yeah, my story. The first one. That, but, you know, I'm sure you got already. Mm -hmm. But I got a few. Um, <clears throat> you deserve better. Mm -hmm. is one of mine. And then uh, it's a joint called Oreo and Poetic Sex. Poetic Sex. That's like oh the first R and B poem. Yeah. Hey man, do you listen to yourself when you're having sex? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so which? I mean, which which song gets you there? Like, oh, this one won by the <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I got three kids off Seem Like You're Ready. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's, that's my joint. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Got, like, you know, in the studio, I got like a 15-minute uh, uh, version. Then I got a three-hour version of that. Oh, oh wow. three-hour versions of, of what? Seem Like You're Ready. Seem Like You're Ready. Can I have that? Hey, Jess. Well, I'm not saying three hours. I just want to listen to it. <laughs> Live in the studio with us this morning. Uh, I know we uh, we gotta wrap up in just a second. But when the, the closet series, when you first came up with, when you sat down and said we're gonna do this, like, mm. do you have a group of writers that collaborate with you on the scenarios that happen next in the next chapters? Unfortunately, no, I it's don't. All I that money. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Chapter fifty. What is that? Oh, sixty something. Oh wow! I know I got like thirty more chapters about to come out. And, after we drop this uh, Black Panties, so though, we're going to get that going first. Wow. Just make a so, movie. Why don't you just make a... I know it's a mini movie, but just right. make a whole... Just a movie. Just put it in right, theaters. Right. Right. Giving away a lot of good... We, believe me, we're working on going to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what what is the next level for our Kevin? Oh, man. The next level for me. You know, right now, Black Panties. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm going to step up on that and jump off of that mm -hmm. on to something else. But... Right now, it's just really, you know, transforming, transforming my career, transforming my my image in the whole nine, and then going into as you guys will hear the song, you, you know, it's way far away from, you know, stepping the name of love, yeah. and the, you know, the whole uh, right me back and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, so, mm -hmm. so, all right. So, on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you right now? I'm happy. Happy. Is that a ten? Is that an that's eight? A, that's a one million. Okay, so one million. ten because you know I done been through a lot. Yeah. I'm living. I'm here. I'm breathing. I still got my talent. My gift is one of the things that's never let me down. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm, I'm happy for you. Do Do any of your children have the gift of writing and singing? All of them have. It. Really? They all have the it, and I'm not. Of course, I'm not saying that because they might. My kids. Yeah, and it comes from both sides because your ex wife is talented as well, very, too. Very, yes, very, yes. Very and got a body. Oh, she's so fine. I'd be like, hey, what? Yeah, yeah. The bump. I said, I see. Okay, I'm telling you. Call it the bump. Yes, yes, yes. Or basketball. You know, yeah. it's all good. Right, right. But yeah, they're, they're all very talented, man. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just with my son the other day, Lil Rob, and he, he don't like to sing, but when he's playing around with his, you know, his toys or whatever, he, he gets to singing and it's just un it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you ever think that you'll uh, get married again and have that whole family life again, or are you just? Man, I'm wide open. Yeah, yeah man. You know. Yeah. I'm wide open for it. Man. Nice. I love family life and all of that stuff. Man. Yeah. All right, let's take a break right here. And we sure appreciate these young men over here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much.